ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's matchup between the Marshfield Bears and your Brockton Boxers. Brockton High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display respect and good sportsmanship to all involved. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's contest. This game is being played according to the rules of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. Thank you for coming out to Staff Gymnasium tonight and enjoy the game. Tonight's starting lineups, first for the Marshfield Rams. Number four, A.J. Kahn. Number 11, Jude Bain. Number 15, Joe Weisgerber. Number 20, Chris Croak. And number 35, Nilter Pina. Now for the Brockton Boxers. Number 10, Demarge Taylor. Number 11, Karan Harris. Number 15, Abu Kaba. Number 24, Atenosa Akumbar. And number 25, Nabil Ferbler. Please remember the 50-50 raffle as well as the Moe's halftime uh, free throw contest. You can sign up over there. Uh, the halftime uh, contest is free. Can everybody please rise, remove your hats, and be silent for the playing of our national anthem. basketball fans of all ages welcome into staff gymnasium for today's matchup between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers as always I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson and tonight I am joined by my broadcast partner the one the only a thousand point scorer Stop. Ethel Savis Miss Savis an interesting weekend here at staff gymnasium where we got back-to-back -back boys basketball matchups and uh, Brockton coming off a 20-point loss to the Catholic Memorial Knights looking to turn it around tonight against the Rams of Marshfield High. <laughs> yes, they are, indeed. We'll see if they can get something going tonight. Well, the first time these two teams played, Brockton with a 10-point victory, 57 to 47. This was the boxers' first win of the year. Marshfield wearing their way, all black jerseys, white trim, with green around the white numbers. Brockton, on the other hand, their home whites, black stripe down the side and red trim around the black numbers. Etinosa Kumbor and number 35, Nilter Pina, in to take the opening tip. Pina winning that back to number four, Andrew Cohn. Cohn quickly giving over to number 20, Christopher Croak. Croak back to Cohn. Cohn working against Nabil Ferbler. 15 on the shot clock. Pump fake by number 15, Joseph Weisgarber. He shot no good. Etinosa Kungor ripping down the rebound. And he quickly gives to Demarge Taylor. Offensive foul. 
foul called against Taylor on his drive to the basket. And Marshfield takes over. Come back, Joe. Come back, Joe. Come back, Joe. 30 seconds in. And still scoreless. Number 11 with it for the Rams. That's Jude Bain. Bain over Conan. Karan Harris in alone. Goes to the rim and he throws up a two handed slam for the first points of the game. Karan Harris out of nowhere. Slowing up just enough to get enough height to the rim. Nice baseline defense by the boxers to cut off the drive. Karan has, has it yet again and he loses this one. Now it's number 11, Jude Bain. Bain to In and out. Rebound brought down by number 35, Milter Pina. 6-7 center for the Rams and he's fouled. Marcus Azor replacing Demarge Taylor who now has two personal fouls. Just a short minute and 18 seconds into this game. Quick three at Tenosa Kunborg coming down with the rebound. Marshfield has yet to score. Two to nothing boxers. Azor over to Ferbler. Ferbler short jumper air balls it. Brought down by number 11 of the Rams, Jude Bain. Down to Pina, his shot high off glass, no good. Kaba tipping the rebound to himself. Great defense by Pina. Abu Kaba driving baseline, reverse layup, can't get enough on it. And Abu Kaba picking up the loose ball. There's number 15, Joseph Weisgerber, couldn't get a hold of it. He's over to Harris. Harris in for ET. E.T. down low for Harris, intercepted by Bain. Bain yeah, that was way. passing into traffic. Offensive board, Pina from the charity stripe has it hit away from Kaba. Number 15, Weisgerber up off the glass and in, and Marshfield's on the board. Azor slipping, regaining his footing. Two to two, five and a half to go in the first quarter. ET inside, putting up a shot off nice. the glass and in. Great shot against two defenses underneath. Cone for three, no good. ET bringing the rebound down right in front of Abu Kaba, who was also fighting for it. Azor to ET, had plenty of room to attempt a three, throws a high one off glass, no good. Andrew Cohen coming down with the rebound for the Rams. Pina down low, called for the double dri uh, travel. The travel, rather. And Brockton will take over with 4.49 to go. He had a little shuffle at half court with both his feet. Azor to Ferbler, Ferbler spinning, stopping, shooting, and his nice. long two is good. Very clean cut play there for the Brockton Boxers. Chris Croak laying it up, no good. And Pino, big man in the paint, fouled on his way for the putback attempt. Abu Kaba called for the hit, and Pina's at the line for two shots. First attempt was Pino. Six to three, Brockton on top of the Marshfield Rams. Here in the final regular season game for the Brockton Boxers. Two to two at the line for the center. Six to four, one possession game. Marcus Azor trying to change that for the Brockton Boxers. Losing it to Ferber out of bounds and Marshfield. Causing the turnover. Chris Croak out to Cone. Cone back to Croak. Croak all the way in. Blocked by Etanosa Kumbo. Loose in the paint. Oh, blocked again by. And ET coming up with another block. This one on Andrew Cone. Karan Harris all the way down the other end. Counted in. One for Karan Harris. 
number 15 was called for the block, Joe Weisgerber. He got that outlet pass down quick and the pass under the basket to make it N1. Ron Harris, three points the old fashioned way, nine to four the score halfway through the first period. Short turn, two for Pina, no good. Azor coming down with the loose ball. To ET down low, runs over his man, called for the block, was number 25. And that was 15, Weisgerber again, his second foul. ET at the line for two shots. Weisgerber saying his feet were planted was not moving. Sunny Oak and Lola and Precious Oko into the game. They replace Abu Kaba and Nabil Ferbler. ET one of two at the line. Oak and Lola sporting a new hairdo for tonight's game. Again. 35. Okay, Lola called for the block number 11 at the line. That is Jude Bain for two shots. Good on his first attempt. Number 10 into the game, Andrew Stack. He replaces Milter Pina. One or two at the line, Karan Harris elevating to grab the rebound. Azor to Oko, Oko to Harris. Harris calling for the pick for Azor. Azor out to Oko, his three looks good and it is. 13 to five, Brockton on top by eight over the Marshfield Rams. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Three on the other end for Marshfield, no good. Marcinelle Louis Charles in the game. Along with Patrick Collins for the Rams. Azor <laughs> starting and stopping, gives it to Precious Oko to Louis Charles to Azor. Thought about the three, starts, uh, stops and loses it. Everyone thought it was rolling out of bounds. It kept stopped action for a second. Marshfield picking up the loose ball. Number 32 with it, that is Dylan Ahern. And Marshfield drawing yet another foul. Sonny Oak and Lola called for another block and Abu Kaba will come back into the game. That's his second quick foul he's picked up this period. Kaba in, Oak and Lola out for the Boxers. 13 to six, that is the fifth team foul against the Boxers in the first quarter. Two at the line was a Hearn. Louis Charles, quick three, no good, comes up short. And rebound to Jude Bain. Bain over to Stack. Stack trying to get a little bit closer to the net. Lays it up and in with some spin on it. Marshfield right back into this game. Here's an overhead pass to Louis Charles to Abu Kaba. His stop and pop three, no good. Brought down by Patrick Collins. Collins to out of bounds. Oh, but stepped out of bounds, so Brock takes over. 13 to eight, a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Okay, 
Hands over back to Kaba, fresh off the inbound pass up to Oko, who spins as he receives it one-handed, thought about a long two. Instead gives it to Azor, Azor to Louis Charles, Louis Charles to Azor to Oko, long three is good. Oko again. Oko two for two from beyond the arc, 16 to eight the score, one minute to go in the first quarter. Twenty-three. James Paglia getting ready to come into the game as Marshfield hitting a three. Cab up to Oko. He's got some room. Lays it up. No good. No foul called. Oko getting his own rebound. This one is going to be a block against number eleven. Number ten, rather. Andrew Stack. Are we in a forty-five? Paglia in and Cohn takes a breather on the bench. 43.9 to go, Brockton up by five. Make it six as Precious Oko has his seventh point of the day. Paglia short jumper on that was stacked, no good. Kicked out to number 13, Patrick Collins. His yes. two from the charity stripe is good. Shot clock off, 20 seconds to go. Cowboy working the give and go with Marcus Azor. Azor spinning with it, trying to get around a couple of rams. Over to Oko, uncontested three, no good. Rebound to Stack, eight on the clock. Marshfield holding on for the last shot. Collins takes a long three. That's gonna be no good. The buzzer sounds, the score at the end of the first quarter, 17 to 13, Brockton up by four. Miss Savis, not a bad first quarter for the boxers, but we saw some stuff they have to work on. I think at the end of the first period, the Marshfield put the pressure on the, the uh, front court here and uh, caused a few turnovers by the, by the boxers. Brockton so strong rebounding in the first part of the game last night against Catholic Memorial. It looks like they've relaxed a little bit, especially in Marshfield's paint. The end of the first quarter, 17 to 13. We're gonna step aside and take a quick break and bring you the second quarter of action right after this. Marshfield's a pretty big team too. Welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second quarter action between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's regular season finale for the Boxers, Miss Ethel Savis. Marcus Azor to Oko to Louis Charles. Brockton coming in with a four point lead into the second quarter. Oko from the charity stripe, no good. Defensive board for Patrick Collins of the Rams. 17 to 13 the score. A long three from way downtown. No good for number 23, James LaPaglia. He tried to reflect it off the, the boxer's leg, but it went out off black. Off Mansfield. Drop it! Drop it! The head coach of the Marshfield Rams yelling. Too far, James, too far. He took that three from almost half court. Oh. E.T. overhead for Marcus Azor. Azor to Marshall Lee, Charles to Soko. Azor takes a three, no good. Another rebound for the Marshfield Rams. Stack down low, can't get the shot up high enough. And E.T.'s heel hit the line, so it's out of bounds against the Brockton Boxers. Tajon Glenn Doherty and Karan Harris into the game, along with Nabil Ferbler. Strong rebound. Unfortunately, he came down on the out of bounds line. These are Louis Charles. 
Nice. Well found the game for Brockton. Glenn Darty comes up with a loose ball. Quickly up to Precious Oko. Oko stop and pop two is hit on the shot attempt and will be at the line for another two shots. Two, two. A hit called against Ransom Horn. The 6-5 Dardies into the game for Brockton. Let's see what he can do now. Of course, Glenn Darty before last night's game, got out of hand, throwing down two thunderous one-handed slams. <laughs> to incite the crowd. Absolutely. Patrick Collins to number 12, pump fake for two. And Brockton comes up with a loose ball. Nabil Furbler underhanding it to Oko off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty on the rebound. Can't get it up, stack rips it down for the Rams. Quickly over to Collins. Collins one-handing it towards the WATD radio table. And Brockton will take over on downs. Marshfield calling their first timeout of the night with six 20 left to go in the first half. 19 to 13, Brockton on top by six. I think it was a near beheading at the other sportscaster's table down there. There's a reason we're not at one of the baselines, <laughs> and that's exactly it. Brockton with a lot of successes in winter sports. Both boys and girls basketball as well as the hockey team clinching postseason berths by virtue of winning the big three division. Of course, earlier today, two track and field state championships, as well as Cole Wyman bringing home the 129 pound wrestling state title. Basketball and hockey looking to build off those successes. Kawa to Oko, back to Kawa, back to Oko, back to Kawa. Kawa's pass intercepted by number 12, John Fitzgerald. Ransom Horn off the glass, no good. Karan Harris with the rebound. Quickly to Oko, six minutes to go in the second quarter, leaving it behind for Nabil Ferbler. Over to Karan Harris, now to Oko. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Tijon Glenn Darty quickly over to Ferbler. Ferbler to Oko. Ten on the shot clock now. Karan Harris. Starting and stopping. Long two, no good. And another rebound for the Marshfield Rams. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. Gives it to Oko with five and a half to go. Abu Kaba thought about the three pump fake. Oh! Pretty much travels all the way on his way in. And Glenn Darty is called for the travel. Marshfield takes over. Number 11 back into the game. That is Jude Bain. He replaces Ransom Horn. Horn is 6 3 senior for the Rams. Very productive minutes. Number 23 with a long two, no good. Abu Kaba with the rebound to Karan Harris. Karan Harris all the way in, and that is going to be a block. On 10. Block on. Patrick Collins calls for that block. And Karan Harris is at the line for two shots. Juris Harris, Echinosa, Kumbor into the game. Abu Kaba and Nabil Ferbler with breathers on the bench. Five minutes to go in the first half. Dowry was into the key too soon. Lean violation. Kajan Glenn Darty. Just lined up in the paint, called for a violation. So Marshfield takes over. Five team fouls against each team. 20 to 13, boxer lead. Patrick Collins starting and stopping. And a push. A 
handshake, rather called I'm against Harris. Jerice Harris. Fresh 32nd clock for the Rams. Quickly into Cohen, his three no good. E.T. tipping the rebound out of bounds. And uh, Marshfield will try it again. Marshfield. Going all the way back, and he's going to be called for the backcourt violation. Couldn't handle it. Four forty-three to go. Brockton basketball. Twenty to thirteen edge for the Boxers. Etienne Osakumbo up for Oko. Takes a long three, and that's nothing but net. Oko's hot from beyond the arc. Three for three on the day. See that heat coming off his fingertips yeah. on that shot? <laughs> Patrick Collins, meanwhile on the other end, hitting a long two, 23 to 15. Rocking on top now by eight points. Oko with the ball. Oko working against number 11, Jude Bean. Ball ping pongs out to Drees Harris. Oko calling for it, he's wide open. Harris losing it, and Marshfield will take over. Halfway through the second quarter, Brockton on top, 23 to 15. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson, joined alongside Ethel Savis for the final regular season game of the Brockton Boxers. 16-17 uh, campaign. Loco with a layup. That puts Brockton up by 10, 25-15. Tijan Glenn Darty with the rebound. Precious Oko. Long two. No good. Glenn Darty reaching over everybody to get the rebound, losing it on the bounce. Marshall takes over. Azor in. Oko out for the boxers. With Oko's success, I'm sure it will be a very quick breather on the Brockton bench. Fight too low. Fight too low. Already with 11 points on the day for the Boxers. Stack down low, kicking it out to number 15, Weisskerber. He was fouled down low. Abu Kaba called for the push. They must have listed the wrong number. The ref said 1-5, he's not on the floor. Looks like it was Therese Harris, number 13. He's replaced by Nabil Ferbler. Nice hitting his first. Marshfield now in a one and one shooting situation. Two at the line, 25-17, three minutes to go in the first half. Full court press, the Marshfield Rams. Brockton breaking that, Nabil Ferbler to Marcus Azor. Azor to Abu Kaba, down low for Glenn Doherty off the glass and in. Nice pass in to Glenn Doherty. Christopher Croak. Working his way inside, laying it off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty uncontested rebound, quickly hands off to Azor. Further back to Azor, to the corner for Karan Harris, uncontested three is nothing but that. Play with some energy. Let's go, pick it up. Brock it up by 13, 30 to 17. Some coaching for the, from the sideline by Patrick Collins. Now he play with some intensity, pick it up. He's getting ready to come back into the game along with Milter Pina. Get over! ET in Dude, get for over! Azor. Azor splitting the D. This one tipped to number 23. Works his way in. No good. Brought down by Etienne Kumbor. And he hands off to Azor up for Nabil Ferbler. Ferbler working his way in off the glass. No good, but he was fouled by number 23, James Lepagli. Which is 
Jude Bain called for the hit. Nah, I, don't, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear it. Probably good on his first attempt. And we have a shift change from Marshfield here. It seems as though three players in. The, the last substitution. Be number 32, Dylan Ahern, was due to one of the Rams swearing on the court. The coach says, I do not approve of that language. Patrick Collins. Out to Ahern. Back to Collins. Working his way in, throwing it off of the knee of Karan Harris. Long three for Ahern, and that's good. 32 to 22, back to a 10 point edge for the Brockton Boxers. 1.15 to go in the first half. Oko fouled from behind by number 15, Joseph Weisgerber. That is his third personal foul. They seem to have difficulty on the press bringing that ball up. Now we're in a one and one shooting situation for the Brockton Boxers. Precious Oko will take the shots for the Boxers. He's been hot, 11 points on the day. Nine of them have come from beyond the arc. Going on his first attempt, earning a second. Oko, two of two at the line, so a 12 point edge for the Boxers. 1.10 to go now in the second quarter. Ahern all the way in, no good, gets his own rebound. That's what I call intimidation on the baseline. Collins thought about a very long three, instead works his way inside, throws it right past Hazor's head. Great Cron defense Harris. by the Boxers. Harris losing it, Ahern right back the other way with speed. Oh, throws it away. Hail Mary to number 35, Milton Pina. Incomplete in the end zone. Forty-four seconds to go. Etanosa Kumbor for Glenn Darty, intercepted by Patrick Cohn, stopping and popping short two, no good. Gets his own rebound yet again, surrounded by three boxes. Able to get it down to number 20, who has it blocked by Glenn Darty, and the loose ball winds up in the hands of Precious Oko. Oko to Azor, shot clock is up, Rockin' Collin for the last shot. Five second violation called against the Brockton Boxers, and head coach Bob Bowen is a little bit less than pleased that his team did not get the last shot. <laughs> Patrick Collins for Marshfield now holding on for the last shot. Five seconds on the clock. Collins head fake, laying it up off the glass, no good. The buzzer sounds, the first half has come to an end, 34 to 22. The boxers up by 12, Miss Savis. The boxers starting off so strong, they kind of faded, then they kind of brought it back, then they kind of faded again. What do they need to do in the second half? to keep the foot on the gas and put this Marshfield Rams team away. I think one of the key components that they have to practice is they have to pass the ball down court on the press. They can't be dribbling through three people. and They lost it quite a number of times here in the second, in the second period, trying to bring that ball up. Well, 34 to 22, the Brockton Boxers leading the Marshfield Rams in the final regular season game for the Brockton High Boys basketball team. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. I'll be right back. Hi. You think you're probably sober? Yeah. But you're thinking about taking the back roads home, just in case. If you're probably sober, then why would you do that? Good choice. 
probably okay isn't okay. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. That's a full glass of wine. I'll be chatting you later. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me, your daughter. Remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org caregiving for care guides and community. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French-only rule at home. Or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Bye, Janet. It's nice seeing you See again. You, you a good girl. Just let me know what I can do to help. Well, to help me, she'd have to help every day. Every hour, every ouch, every time my wife calls for help. I mean, maybe she could help me make her lunch. But the crust, all the crust has to be cut off the corners. She could help me run to the doctor for the fifth time this week. Help me with the specialist and the second opinions and the painful paperwork about paperwork. Help me deal with how hard it is seeing my wife's name on so much paperwork. But this is on me. I'm the only one who can do this, like this, for her. Besides... Take care. We will. <laughs> Janet doesn't like her cooking anyway. Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Miss Ethel Savis. Brockton coming into the second half with a 12-point edge over Marshfield, 34-22. Ron Harris with the rebound. Demarje Taylor with two personal fouls. Sending it to Abu Cabo. Long two, no good. E.T. with the rebound to Taylor to Karan Harris. No look pass to E.T. Shot off the back of the rim, no good. Marshfield wearing their way all black jerseys, white stripes down the side. Green trim around the white numbers. Brockton on the other hand, their home white jerseys, black stripe down the side of the shorts, and red trim around black numbers. Minute into the second half, and both teams have yet to score. Such was the case early in this game. It's going to be a backcourt back violation, the second backcourt violation of the evening against the Marshfield Grand. Harris trying to get it into Demarge Taylor. Ultimately successful. Back to Harris. To the Bill Furbler. Kumbor. 
Cool go over to Ferbler as Harris hits the floor. Ferbler along two, no good. Might have been deflected. Marshfield takes over. Ahern kicking it out of bounds, and Brockton will take this one. Abukawa to send it into Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Harris, who might have taken an extra step with the ball, but his layup was no good. Now on the other end, number 11 running to Dubin will be at the line for two shots. Abukawa called for the block, or rather it'll be an Inbound for the Rams. Two minutes now into the third quarter and no team has put up any points. Out of bounds off of the left leg of Abu Kaba. Three, no good for number 32. Dylan Ahern. And finally, the first points of the half put up by the junior guard, Andrew Cohn, is three, 34 to 25 to score. Karan Harris now. Harris off the glass, no good, followed by number 11, Bain. Bain calls for the block. Harris is at the line for two shots. He saw that opening right down the lane and took it. There she, see, she, she got my message. Harris up for two at the line. Picking up the loose ball. Taylor for three is good. And Brockton on the board and a timeout called by the Marshfield Rams. 37 to 25, five and a half to go in the third quarter. So Brockton finally putting up some points here in the second half. Marshay Taylor hitting a big three. It's the fourth game in two days. Five and three, six and four for Brockton Community Access. Very busy athletic weekend here for the Brockton High Athletics Department. We had two, two and one. Two games Friday night, two, uh, three games Friday, three games today. And the girls are gonna play at two o'clock tomorrow, varsity only, against Carver. Story in that game, Jelani Jackson stands at 991 points in her high school career, looking to break the thousand mark. That'll be an exciting day tomorrow for her and for the whole Brockton girls basketball team. We haven't even had a thousand point score in a, a number of years. 2009, Taryn Johnson was the last. Cone kicking it out to Ahern, Ahern to Patrick Collins, his three, no good. Rebound to Nabil Ferbler, Ferbler to Abu Kaba, his two is a little bit wide to the left. Out of bounds. But off of the Marshfield Rams, Brockton has a 22 second shot clock, 5.01 to go in the third quarter. Etinosa Akumbo with it. Forcing it to Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Harris. Harris to Abu Kaba. Kaba working his way in. Oh. Off the glass and in. In between two opponents, he slid his hand up and under to make that basket. Collins dancing with it. Getting it to Ahern. And foul. an offensive foul and elbow called against Patrick Collins. Oh, 
Abu Kaba stepping over the inbounds line. It'll go back to Marshfield for the inbounds. One time, yeah. Uh, three for number 23 of Marshfield James Lepagia is good. 39-28, rocking up by 11. Four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Marjorie Taylor starting and stopping. Getting the team to go further, further. Good job, good job. Work, the team, the team looking for Abu Kaba. Instead finds Ferber. He pump fakes, works his way in baseline. Nice. His floater is good. Nice shot. Halfway through the third quarter now, 41 to 28, Brockton up by 13. High off glass brought down by no. Bain, and that is off the glass in. Taylor with it to Furbler. Long three, no good. Kaba with the offensive board is fouled on his way up. Sonny Okanlola getting ready to come back into the game during halftime. He shed his new hairdo. I think I don't think it brought him the luck that he thought it would. It's like Isaiah Thomas for the Celtics. Was wearing some big fancy Nike shoes. First game he wore him. Scored like I don't know eight points in the first half. He switched them out for his regular shoes at halftime and said. His kicks ain't got no buckets. Yeah. Proceeded to score 40 points in the second half. It definitely was the shoes. It was definitely, definitely. the shoes, 100%. Tagway hey. down low for hey. Peter has it blocked out of bounds. Talking about the Celtics. I'm excited that Brad Stevens is actually coaching uh, East Coast. How, what an amazing honor that is for such a young guy. Oh, Out of bounds off of Marshfield. Again for the boxes, 3.15 to go in the third. Forty-four to thirty to score. Brockton up by fourteen. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Marshfield Rams counted in one for number eleven, Jude Bain. That was on Harris. Karan Harris out of the game. Sonioka Lola with the rebound. We have a Marjorie Taylor to Luke Charles to Precious Oka. Oka out of bounds off of Weissgerber. Precious Oko sending it long for Taylor, who grabs a one-handed over the half-court line. Taylor all the way in, loses it to Oak and Lola out of bounds off of the leg of Niltor Pina. Peter, fish. Peter. No, fish. How many time up? Three. We got three left. Three left. No, no. E.T. off the inbound, no good, fouled on its way up. Two, three, hit. He'll have his chance to make up for the bucket at the Chavity line right now. Marcus Azor getting ready to come back into the game. Oh, oh, missing his first attempt. Marjorie Taylor out. Azor in. Oh, 0 for 2 for MC. Up by 12, 44 to 32 the score. 
Patrick Collins working his way in. Stops, pops for two, no good. Collins getting his own rebound after a ping pong out to just about half court. Working his way back inside. Has this one swatted by E.T. who has trouble oh. ripping down the rebound and he steps out of bounds with it. Marshfield will take over and Tejan Glenn Darty will replace Etinosa Akunwa. Collins turning the ball over. Marcus Azor to Precious Oko, oh. who loses it out of bounds, and Marshall takes it. Couldn't hang on to it. Just slid right through his fingers. I think he was actually on the way up before he had the ball. He was thinking basket. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. 44 to 32 the score. Collins off the glass in. 10 point edge. For the boxers, Oak and Lola trying to force it into Oko. Back to Oak and Lola spinning, trying to get around Collins. Loses it, gets it back, throws it to Precious Oko. And a timeout very alertly called by head coach Bob Bowen of the Brockton Boxers. Again, Marshfield is applying the pressure on the inbound pass. 139 to go in the third period. Again, Brockton up by 10, 44 to 34 in the score. We take this opportunity to remind you to check our Twitter feed at the Brockton channel. As soon as the rankings and seedings come out for both boys and girls basketball and hockey, we will be posting them. Along with the locations. Yeah. We even try to get the broadcast times up there. But wherever the boxers may be, Brockton Community Access will be right there with them at the Brockton Channel. If you want to talk about any of the various playoff runs or successes of the Brockton High Athletics Department, Cardinal Spellman, Southeastern Regional. Use hashtag BCA Sports. Southeastern Regional, their hockey team undefeated, 16-0-2. We'll covering them in the MIAA tournament. Marshall Lee Charles to Precious Oko off the glass and in. Back to a 12 point edge for the boxers. Oh, oh, Charles coming up with the loose ball. Sonny Oak and Lola now to Azor. Azor working against Collins. And Azor takes a forearm. A little hand check there. Across the face. 15! 15! Get up, Chief. Hey! Jim Bean. Replaced by Ahern. One minute to go in the third quarter. 12 point edge for the boxers. 46 to 34. The score Louis Charles to Oak and Lola. Oak and Lola. Overhead pass to Azor. Azor to Louis Charles. Back to Azor. Thought about the three to Oko. He takes the trace and it's good. Oko four for four beyond the arc today. And it's under a minute to go, 40 seconds left and a 15 point edge for the boxers. Number 23 drawing the block. That of course is James Paglia at the line for two shots. Rather, it's another inbounding foul. The third team foul of the half against the Boxers. Marshfield has five. Get there! Get there! Right now, now stay down. Wings up, Collins wings to Lepaglia, back to Collins. Wings up, wings up! Back to Lepaglia. Collins stopping, popping for two, no good. Louis Charles with the rebound for the Boxers. To Precious Oko, a lot of room to run. Working his way in, off the glass, and in. With 10 seconds to go, Brockton 51 to 34. Collins to Lapaglia, long three. It's good as the buzzer sounds. So 51 to 37 the score at the end of the third quarter. Brockton turning it up a little bit, but we'd like to see him keep up the effort in the fourth. 
Let's hope so. For Shisoko, by far the MVP of the game for the Brockton Boxers thus far. Four for four from beyond the arc. A couple of layups and strong from the charity stripe as well. And he has been the impact player for the Boxers. 51 to 37 at the end of the third. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you the fourth quarter of action right after this. Sorry. <laughs> if I live to see the game tomorrow. <laughs> right, Posty? You're taking a short break too, I see ya. Where do I show this to Kevin? Tell him I sent Janet down to help him. Check it out. Welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for fourth quarter action between the Marshfield Rams and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Ms. Ethel Savis. Brockton 51-37 over the Rams. Precious Soko takes another three, and this Ooh. one's no good. His first miss of the day from beyond the arc. Collins to Ahern, uh, rather Lapagli on the rebound. To number 10, Andrew Stack. Stack to Collins. Collins to LaPaglia. Long three, no good. In and out. Louis Charles driving baseline off oh. the glass. Counted in one for Marcino. Louis Charles. Louis Charles to try to convert three points the old fashioned way. I want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for today's festivities, the one and the only Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. True, he is the only cameraman tonight. He's the only camera guy. Yep. Coach, coach. What defense? What defense? And he's rung twice today. The Postman always rings twice. Rung twice yesterday, twice today. Don't worry about that. Hockey and basketball delivered to... The loyal viewers of Brockton. Glenn He's already on a way. drive. Rolls no off good. the rim. Patrick Collins. Now stacked down low. His floater no good. Louis Charles comes up with it. Quickly to Precious Oko. Oko stops, pops for oh. two, and that's good. Maybe a Furbler to replace Marcus Azor. Collins down low, falling, able to regain his balance, gets it to Stack. Stack nowhere to go with it. Finds Pina. Pina kicking it out to number 15, Joseph Weisgerber. Back to Stack to number 22. His shot blocked by Glenn Darty as the shot clock expired. But Brockton taking over before the 20, uh, the 30 second violation is called. And he's to the NBA's 24 second clock. Oak and Lola to Louis Charles for three, no good. Oko can't get high enough for the rebound. That's brought down by number 23. James yeah, yeah, yeah. Collins is good. 16 point edge for the Boxers, 56 to 40 the score. Five and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The Paglia to Collins, works his way inside, runs into Oka Lola who took a step back. And this will be called with the block. They're gonna call a hold against Marcus Azor. The, box, the boxes look like they, they're running out of steam. Next one. Collins very interesting form at the line. E.T. and Ferbler into the game for the boxers. Glenn Darty and Azor, the odd men out. Collins one of two. E.T. to Louis Charles, Louis Charles. Taking a moment to gather himself. Five, 
Marcus Oko to Louis Charles, back to Oko. Back to Louis Charles, back to Oko. 10 on the shot clock now for the boxers. Ferbler to ET. To Okinola down low off the glass and nice. in with three seconds left on the shot clock. Patrick Collins. Followed by Etinosa Kumbor. And will be at the line for two. A hit called against Akunbor. Yes. 58 to 42, 16 point edge. Collins goes two for two from the charity strike. Karan Harris nice. replaces Lee Charles. by 15 points. And, and Cohn can't keep the steal in place, so Brockton the fresh opportunity to inbound the ball. Kumbor coming all the way back. Gives it right back to Sonny Okinlola. Okinlola spinning with it. Slowing up the pace of play. Precious Oko. For a big guy, he has good control of the basketball. Okinola showing some shooting prowess this season too from beyond the arc. UT2 Furbler on contested three is oh, good. Another one. 61 to 43 the score now. Brockton up by 18 points. Paglia working his way in, being assaulted by Karan Harris. <laughs> no foul called, Oak and Lula comes down with the rebound. Gives it to Furbler, stops and pops for two. That's in and out. Okinola tipping the rebound out of play. And we're halfway through the fourth quarter, 3.50 to go. Brockton up 61 to 43. Oh. Nice block. coming up with a block and it took a funky bounce to end up in the hands of Oak and Lola, who gave it to Oko. Oko driving inside all the way to the glass and in. Collins to number 20, Christopher Croak. His three no good. Kickball, a fresh shot clock for the Brockton Boxers. Dylan Ahern, the freshman guard, into the game. He replaces Jude Bain. Miguel Ferbler to Karan Harris. Harris to Okinola, down low, all the way to the rim, and in. Good move by the big man. Showing some signs of life in the fourth quarter for Sony Okinkola. With that, Brockton extends their lead to 22 points. 65-43. Ahern for three from way downtown is good. And that cuts the Brockton lead to 19. Cone for three, no good. Open Lola goes behind the back to create some space. This one rolls out of bounds off of Brockton. So Marshall taking over with 2.25 to go. Ahern for two, no good, and oh a block God. for Sunny Oak and Lola. Oh. Jerry's Harris drawing the hit. Dylan Ahern called for that foul. It's gonna be a one and one shooting situation for the boxers. The eighth team foul against the Marshfield Rams.
Jerese Harris at the line. Hitting his first attempt, earns a second. Turn on Victor, the 6'9 sophomore for Brockton. Into the game. Matt, I think that he's going to be a great, great, awesome player for Brockton in the future. 6'9 freshman, already playing varsity. And not... I think some conditioning wouldn't necessarily hurt. And some meat on his bones, what do you think? Yeah, I think drop some fat, add some muscle, as Mark Cesar lays it up and in. Honestly, he'll be unstoppable, I think. Absolutely. I mean, he goes up to the rim so effortlessly. This one's good, and he's got such long arms that if he's under the basket, no one's getting anywhere close. I think if he just takes a small jump, he's, his head he's is hitting the rim already. The world and in. Yep. Timeout called by the Marshfield Rams. Brockton running away with it. A minute and 33 to go. 71 to 48 to score. Brockton up again by 23 points. Chuck this one up. Here's a victory barring the third coming of Jesus and a couple of small miracles. <laughs> I don't think so. Brockton heads into the tournament with a big victory over the Marshfield Rams. And now the waiting game to see who we will be playing the first round. Brockton will have a full week off before the seedings even come out. So I would expect a few days of uh, rest and relaxation for the boxers. I would hope so. And back at practice, first thing Monday or Tuesday afternoon. Croak off the glass, no good. Tyrone Victor tapping the rebound to Oak and Lola. Brockton is now in the clock management game. Azor to Dries Harris. Harris all the way across to Furbler. He takes a three, no good. Rebound to the Rams. And number four, Andrew Cohn. Marcus Azor with it under a minute to go. 52 seconds now, 71 48. 23 point edge for the boxes. Drees Harris for a long two is good. Time out called by. I think it's just a few substitutions. I think it's just He's not calling a timeout. Players in there. Couple of young guns for the Marshfield Rams getting some experience in the last 40 seconds. Now half a minute to go. Long three is good for Dylan Ahern. Shot clock off. All the boxers have to do is Sonny's hold playing, on. Sonny's playing guard. Look at him. Sonny open low, starting stopping, goes behind the back, loses it. Ugh. Number 32, Ahern all the way in, off the glass, no good. Offensive board, a couple of offensive boards, and finally number 33, Rickard Mankovic, able on, to put it in. On the third try. Emil Furbler, hold it as the buzzer sounds, and this game has come to an end. 73 to 53, a big, convincing 20 point victory for the Brockton Boxers. Miss Savis, what did the Boxers do right to avenge the 20 point loss from last night against the Catholic Memorial Knights? Well, I think that they kept it together because a lot, a lot of times when you have a loss like that, you come in the next day, you're, you're depressed and deflated. So I think they, they took them a few, three quarters to warm up, but then they got it together in the fourth quarter. Well, Precious Oko, my player of the game, four for four from be, uh, four for five from beyond the arc. A couple of nice layups, and he leaves with just about 20 points. 73 to 53, the final score. Of the Brockton Boxers defeating the Marshfield Rams for the second time this season, and they end the regular season on a high note, headed into the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. The victorious head coach Bob Bowen, coach, you avenge a 20-point loss with a 20-point win. The final regular season game, a 73-53 victory against the Marshfield Rams. What went right for the Brockton Boxers tonight? Well, I think we got some nice play off the bench tonight. Uh, Precious Oka had a tremendous game in the shooting guard position. I don't know how many points he had, but it seemed like a lot. 
And Marcus Azor did a nice job. Demarge got in trouble right away in foul trouble, and Marcus had to play almost the whole first half. And Marcus kept things going, and he had a nice second half there, too. For everyone here at Brockton Community Partners, uh, Brockton Community Access, excuse me, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons, my broadcast partner, Miss Ethel Savas. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. Oh!